Well, hello again, everybody. You're gonna have to pardon the noise today. It's a nice day again, so everyone's got mowers going, birds are chirping, so it's a little bit loud out here. But starting the next project, one of the things Shannon wanted done next was new interior doors. The doors she wanted are way more than I wanna spend on doors, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to make them myself. Said before, this isn't my strong suit as far as woodworking, but I'm gonna see what I can do. There's some plans I found online that showed kind of the style she wants, so we're gonna see how it does. I don't have the best setup to do woodworking. I've got my miter saw behind me, got my table saw set up out there, but as far as workspace, I'm limited. This is one of the reasons we're looking to get some land and build a barn, just so I have somewhere to work. We've talked about putting a garage in here, but we'll see how long we stay on that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig into this and get started, and I'll explain what I'm doing as I go. So for these first few doors I'm doing, I'm using basic lumber. I'm gonna see how it works. So I'm just using two by sixes and some one by fours to make it. The frame will be two by six, but I'm gonna rip it down to five inch widths. So I'm getting ready to do that right now and then go from there. Just to make it even? Yeah, square edges make it a perfect five inches. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. That's two done. You got a lot warmer than they said it was going to. It's like 68 today. That'd be in the 70s by now. Well, with some help from Shanna, I got the pieces all ripped down. Now I've got to cut a groove in them, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut them down to size first just to make them easier to deal with. Some of you might've picked up on there that like, I've got my saw set up a little bit backwards. Being left-handed, that's one of those little weird things where it's always set up for right-handed people. So you go to do it, it's a little bit awkward, but worked around it and move forward. And this would be much easier if I had a back fence and a nice place to put a stop block and get all these the same, but I don't have that. So we're gonna hope I'm getting these right on where they're supposed to be. So I cut my four pieces to 80 inches. I did not have a backstop for those. The next ones are gonna be 14 inches. I do have enough room to do that stop though, so I'm gonna go ahead and set that up. On my first pass cutting these grooves, I tried to set the outside edges and work my way in. Later on I realized it was much easier to start at the middle and work my way out. Well I got a base template done. This is kind of the style we're going for. I have several more pieces to cut, but I made a few mistakes along the way. But you can see how I did the grooves in the 2x6s. And then just setting one by fours in there. I'm gonna do a little bit of a tongue and groove on the one by fours to get those to connect better. But I'm gonna have to recut a few pieces now that I know what I'm doing and go from there. 
Well, I just ran to Lowe's and picked up another two by six to correct a few pieces I miscut. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip these down and start cutting them to size. And then we'll see how much we can get together today. Well, when I ripped my vertical pieces of the doors down, I wasn't super accurate with my rip cuts. So I'm gonna to try to make up for that with the width of my horizontal pieces. So I'm getting ready to mark those up and try to get those cut down and at least the notches cut into them. This is definitely one of those parts that'd be way easier if I had a router table. That definitely might be my next purchase. Good spot to stop for lunch. All right, so I've started making my groove in here. So now I've got to go back and just cut out the rest of the middle and see how my one bys fit. So right now I'm going back and trying to just use the table saw to cut out the rest of that groove that my one bys will go in. Once I get all these cleared out, I'll get a chisel, clean it up and then see how my one buys fit. Oh, you left to ignore the door creaking. Storms that went through the rest of the country last night that are about to come through Georgia today. So I'm gonna try to get as much of this done as I can before it gets crazy outside. It's time to get back at it. A little bit colder today. We're down in the 40s this morning. So I'm trying to bundle up. If I wait till it gets warm out, we'll only have about an hour till it's dark again. So I'm gonna take this apart and see if I can start piecing it together and how well it's gonna hold. My cuts with the table saw, me being an amateur, they're not the best, a little bit wider than, or I should say inconsistent. So parts of it are a snug fit, parts aren't. So I'm gonna see once I put it together, how well it holds and if it's going to be strong enough without having like dovetail connections. So we'll see what I can do here. A couple things to note before I start this. One, I definitely should get a router table. That'd make this way easier. That, or I've got to get really better at doing these cuts with a table saw. And two, if any of you ever look at something on YouTube and someone makes something look real easy, look through my channel. 
see if I've tried it and you'll see the real version of whether it's easy or not. All right, well, I'm gonna let that glue dry a little bit and we'll see if it holds or not. Well, it actually held better than I expected. I'm gonna go ahead and finish out this door and see how well it holds together when it's done. I'm betting it's just gonna be a prototype and long-term won't hold up great, but it'll be at least a first pass and then I can see if I can do better on the second and we'll go from there. So the door is actually holding together pretty well. So now I've got to get the slats centered within there. So I'm getting ready to rip down a few of those and then I'm gonna to try to figure out a way to get those connected better. So to explain what I'm doing here, these vertical pieces, we're leaving a little bit of a rough cut, but then that could also mean if there's any irregularity in the sides of them, there could be light passing through. So I'm cutting a groove in them. And then I'm hoping to put some real thin plywood strips in there to block any light that would pass through and just interlock them a little bit. So that's all I'm doing right now. Well, as always, I don't have exactly what I need to finish this. You can see the door is mostly assembled as Shanna looks on, giving approval. But I need to do a little more tweaking of this. I don't have the right sandpaper. I don't have the right little tools for, for my Dremel to get in here to make this fit just right. I don't want to loosen it up too much because then the door will just fall apart. So I was wanting to get this together today, but it looks like I will be going to Lowe's tomorrow, getting sandpaper, and then See if I have enough daylight this week one evening to finish it. Good morning. It is Saturday. I am back. Going to try to finish this first door up. Had a few issues. I mentioned before on the other vertical piece I put that my grooves 
were not cut quite right, so the tongue and groove was a little bit looser than I'd like. So I'm a little leery on how well that's gonna hold up, but I'm hoping I got it well enough. This side, I've got it cut a little bit better, so my joint is tighter when I put my horizontal pieces in. However, it's a little tight for the vertical strips of the one by fours. I don't wanna widen that up because then the joints would be looser. So I'm having to try to sand down these one by fours to get them to fit. They're very close to fitting and I could probably hammer them in there, but I don't wanna to have to pound on it that much. So I'm gonna sand those down and get those where they fit better. Also to add some strength, this side's gonna be the hinge side. So what I've done is went and bought some little dowel rods. Got these little groove dowel rods that I will drill into there. Having said that, of course, as you do these things, you always find all the tools you need. I have a palm router. Doing this groove for the joint would be better with a table router. And then for putting these dowel rods in, it'd be nice to have a plunge router, but maybe next time. So my cheap shortcut I just went and bought one of these little drill guides and I'm gonna spec that out where it needs to be and then just use this drill guide to try to get my hole perfectly straight up and down like it needs to be so I'll go ahead and get these vertical pieces going get the holes drilled get the dowel rods glued in and see if we can get this thing together today So this is the part where having a table router would have been nice. That would have made this a much cleaner cut, my, nice and consistent. Mine was just a little bit wavy. So now I'm having to find all those spots that are hitting. So I've got these where they finally fit. So now I just gotta drill the holes for the dowel rods and we can put it together. Okay, now we hope I measured right. I just need you to hold this thing up so it doesn't fall on me. The well, door part? Yes. Okay. So let's slide it out a little bit. There you go. Should be. Yeah, the garage would be nicer. 
pull the lower end down. Now, can you help me lower that down back on it? <laughs> I thought you would have held the bottom part. Okay, let's lift this off. I need workbenches so bad. I'm going to mess up this piece, but I have a workbench for it. See, and that, that one's taller than the other one. They're not even. I just drilled this one too low. That being taller, this okay. is the same as all the others. Okay. So that's not an issue. These are hitting. The problem is I missed on these two. So one way or the other, the ends are jacked up. It's barely off. Crap on a cracker, Shannon. <laughs> I know you like laughing at me, because I'm a moron. You're not a moron. And that's it right there? Yes. And it's off by a ton. I don't know how to correct for this. What did I miss by that much? Oh, Shanna. Now I've done it. Bull hooey, Shanna. So both of them off then? Yes. So then I either have to make a whole new piece there or just burn the door and start over. <laughs> I measured from that side and came over, then I measured from this and came over. But then if this wasn't cut part, so if this was an eighth of an inch off, that makes those. I should have measured from the same datum end the whole time. So I just tried to measure from each end inward. I should have just went from one point all the way across, and then this would have been right to that. So it's another rookie mistake. So it's that or after we take those two out and redrill a new hole. But then that would make the hole bigger, right? No, a different hole, not a bigger hole. Oh, and I moved it in between. Time. So instead of two that don't line up, I might only have one that barely lines up. Well, the next door is going to be much better. So you're going to drill another hole and just put one in there? Yeah. It's, this is going sideways quick, Shannon. And that looks off. I think I just messed up again. I don't know how. Let's see what happens here. That one in? Mm -hmm. Let me see here. here. Yeah, this door is not going to go with it. I've done something terribly wrong here, Shanna. Okay, why? Well, we'll go together. So, and it's way off. This one's not going up. We should have built a damn garage years ago. Take measure. Hold that, please. That's exactly 80, which is what I wanted. Move over here. That's exactly 80. Is this four baby worked? Well, I think that piece was off and it was forcing it out of alignment. So then that made it. So it wasn't square corner to corner. And then once, so that's why my measurements were off here. Mm -hmm. 
since I came, because I came an inch and a half in from the edge and then an inch half in drilled a hole. Well, since this wasn't a 90 degree, so then that didn't line up there and then I tried to force it and that split this out. I mean, I could reuse these pieces, mm -hmm. but I think I'm gonna have to scrap this part, these. Boom. Epic fail, Shannon. <laughs> well, door number one was an epic failure. My pieces were cut to length right, but due to a little bit of bow or whatever in the boards, it ended up not lining up right. So I'll show you what it did here. So both vertical pieces are 80 inches across. So this was exactly 80 and the other side was 80. But then when I lined my horizontal pieces up and did this joint, by the time it came across, it was over that far. So that made my dowel pin holes misaligned and then trying to force them together and spring back, split that board. So the look of the door is what we want, but gonna have to either redo that board or just say screw it and start door number two and learn from this one. Well, looking over door one that didn't go well, I thought the mistake I made was when I did my dowel rods and drilled those holes. I thought because the way I measured them, I made a few mistakes and then those didn't line up right. I've been looking it over a little bit I and mean, the good side is the door looks the way we want it to look. But I see where my mistake was, which I'll show you here real quick. So the look of the door is what we wanted. You can see up at this corner how far off it was. And then when I tried to force things together, you can see where I split the wood. The problem though, was when I ripped down my vertical boards. You can see this top left corner was not square, which caused this board to slope downward, which caused it not to line up on the other side. Pretty sure I can salvage quite a bit of this. For sure the one by fours and possibly the horizontal boards. I'm gonna have to take it apart though and see what I get into. For this morning though, I'm gonna go ahead and try to clean the barn up a little bit here. It's a total mess from the work I've been doing. Might do a little bit of organizing because I definitely need better workspace. And then I'm gonna start attempt two and try to make the other door with the lumber I have. Hopefully by my next video with the doors, I'll have learned from my mistakes. Granted, there's always the possibility that I'll make all new mistakes. I have a tendency to do that, but we'll see what happens. I'll also try not to bore you with redoing all the same stuff. Hopefully the next video is quite a bit shorter and it's just me successfully putting the doors together and maybe even hanging them.